Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. I know it's been a minute since I filmed a video after that big long video, um, but uh, things have just been crazy around here. Easter's tomorrow and uh, I'm sure all of you are trying to get ready for the holiday. Um, but I have another massive haul. Um, this is actually two hauls that I combined together because I have about four or five hauls I need to film. So um, a lot of you said that you didn't mind the longer hauls. Um, you can always pause me and stop and go and get a drink or a snack or watch part of me now and part of me later. Um, but, you know, I thought you were all pretty much okay with my longer videos. So I am going to get right into this Dollar Tree haul. Um, first thing I want to show you, since it's sitting right here, is I found a bunch of new reusable bags at the Dollar Tree. Some really pretty ones. They're good size. And let me just show you. First one I grabbed was this one. Loved it with the houses on it. It's yellow on the side. They got the big bottom. And they're that, like, plastic material. And it's got yellow handles, which are tucked inside. But yeah, I got this one, which I really love. And then I got this one, which the tag is off of because I used this. I love this color. And then it's like a peachish orange. And uh, they really are huge bags. I used these when I buy them at the store to uh, bring my stuff home. And I try to remember to bring my reusable bags I know they, they don't want you to use them right now because they say they have germs in them and all that, but, you know, I don't know. And then I found this bag, which I absolutely love. I got this uh, for my subscriber, Michelle from Florida, because she loves turtles. And I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I got to get this for her. So I'm going to mail this off to her. This is uh, got like a peachish orange also on the side. Really nice bag. And it's got peach handles. And then I got this bag. It says Slice of Summer. It's a really nice green. Um, they had, I don't know, four or five different types of this one. This one um, has double handles on it. Now... Somebody said you can carry it like this, or you can carry it shoulder way, but I was under the assumption that the two sets of handles, the shorter sets would be to hold like things in place in the bag. Like if you had like two liters of soda, you could wrap the smaller handles around that to keep them from bouncing all over the bag. But these are really nice bags and they have the big open bottom and I got this one. There's a peach one that I didn't get. Um, and I think a blue one. And then of course, you know I had to get the flamingo one. Feathers are fabulous. So I had to get that one. And uh, that also has the big bottom. And these are awesome bags. Can't beat it for a buck at the Dollar Tree. And the last bag I picked up um, this was a while ago, um, when, before the virus and whatever, part of this haul. And I got this Dora bag because Caroline, um, was at the store with me. And, uh, I didn't show you this a while ago because it had stuff in it for a long time. But, um, I got this Dora bag because this is Caroline's new favorite cartoon is Dora. She's learning how to say all her colors in Spanish and whatever. This is kind of like a material on the bottom. I don't know, you know, this isn't really anything that you can carry anything too heavy in, but it's got Dora on both sides and she's into Dora, so I just got it. I'll probably end up giving it to her even though she has one. Um, that's all the bags I picked up. Um, I tried to keep this stuff separated by category and I try to do that usually with my hauls. Um, so let's see if we can maintain some kind of order here. Um, the next thing I picked up was one of these little solar um, foxes. I had gotten the hedgehog 
And uh, I had to get the squirrel, the, uh, I keep wanting to say squirrel, the fox. He's so cute. I keep these on my windowsill in my kitchen. And um, I love these things. I come in at night, you know, when I'm out late and the lights will be on. And I'll be like, oh, there's my solar lights. But he's so cute. They had, um, you know, a set, a different set of them last year. This year they had the hedgehog, the fox. I forgot what the other two were, but I didn't get them. I only got the fox and the hedgehog because I already have three of them on my um, windowsill now. And the windowsill is only so big. So I picked my two favorites. <clears throat> I also wanted to show you guys this again. I bought this. I don't know, a month ago or so, I had bought a white one and it's a magnetic hook. It's got a magnet on the back. Actually, this time it has the magnet on it. When I bought this last time, I showed this to you guys and uh, the next day I took it out of the package and I went to hang it on the refrigerator and it went, bloop, fell on the floor. I was like, what the? And I looked and there was no magnet on the back. I was like, okay, well, that's going back. So when I brought it back, I saw this color and I was like, yeah, I like this color better anyway. So it's got a little hook on it. You can hang it on something metal. Um, and I just wanted to show you that again. It's by Jot and it's a magnetic hook. And this is in the um, stationary section. So I grabbed that. I grabbed two bottles of the spray disinfectant. This is uh, Chase's Home Value, kills cold and flu viruses, 99.9% .9 of germs in 20 seconds, kills most germs, eliminates odor, prevents mold and mildew, blah, blah, blah. It's six ounces, and this is um, what Dollar Tree sells for spray disinfectant. So I was able to get two cans um, at, when we got stock in. They were allowing people to buy four cans. Um, I was able to help out um, an elderly neighbor because I had gotten four of the disinfectant and I got four of the um, antiseptic wipes. And uh, I was talking to her on the phone and she was saying, you know, you know, when is Dollar Tree getting, you know, antiseptic wipes and deodorizer and hand sanitizer? I said, well, we got disinfecting spray and the wipes in. I said, I'll bring some over to you and I'll leave them on your porch. Um, she's elderly, so she hasn't been out of the house. She's not able to get it on her own. So being I work at the store, I asked if I could get four of each and give them to her. And they were nice enough to allow me to do that. Anyway, long story short, I got two cans left because I gave her two cans and I gave her I think I gave her three of the four wipes that I was able to get because I, I only have one pack left of that. And I was able to score some antibacterial soap. Hold on one second. Let me grab it. Rah, sorry. <clears throat> I was able to get this soft soap, antibacterial hand soap with moisturizers. Gently cleans and protects. It's a 5.5 ounce bottle. Um, and... I was able to get four of these as well. I gave one to my neighbor along with the wipes and the um, disinfecting spray. All right, next thing I got was I picked up this um, canvas picture. Um, my store has gotten uh, some new canvases in and I thought this was really pretty, farm fresh. And you know, it's got the little tooth on the back to hang it up. I just thought it was super pretty. I hadn't seen this one before. And then I had to get this one. You know I did. And look at the, the gold on the flamingo. If you can see that, it kind of shines gold. I, I was like, oh my God, I love it. I can't believe they have a fl flamingo canvas. So again, with the teeth on the back, I love this. Can't wait to hang this up. And then I saw these, they are garage sale. It's a garage sale sign because um, they have, um, this is plastic and then it's got the little stand thing on it and you can write on both sides of it. It's got the arrow and the, you know, place where you can write on both sides. There's only one in the pack. 
Um, it's 16 by 16. No, 16 by 6. Sorry, I can't read today. Um, but I got this because um, eventually when all this passes, we have to clear out my mother's house. So we will be having a garage sale at some point. And uh, I, as long as I saw it, I said, I have not seen these in the Dollar Tree before. Let me get one. Um, so that's that. I was able to score uh, some more of the uh, poster board, the corrugated pattern poster board for a penny. I found this print. I got two of them. And I got two of the blue. And I got one more in this pattern. So these are the three colors that I saw. And I got these for a penny. Um, I got more of them, but one of my subscribers, Debbie, the one that sent me the um, baskets, those plastic baskets, the carrier tote ones, um, she mentioned that she would like to have those. So um, I got four or five of those for her that I'm going to get out in the mail soon, Debbie. I'm sorry, I haven't gotten them out yet, but this week they'll definitely be in the mail, I promise. Um, yeah, I went to the post office uh, Friday. Thursday or Friday, and yeah, postal rates have gone up, so um, my mailing will not be as much as it used to be, because the rates have gone up, and you know, when you're mailing to three, four, five people, um, I ended up spending almost $30 at the post office. But anyway, I'll get it out to you, Deb, I promise. Next thing I picked up was this burlap ribbon. It is it's only two yards of ribbon, but it's really, really pretty. And, uh, you know, I was thinking I can really do some crafty things with this. I got two of them because they're only two yards. I was thinking about getting a third, and I probably should have just to make sure I have enough. But I only got two, and I thought they were really pretty. I had seen Jenny Mowen haul these a while ago, and I was like, oh, my God, I got to get those. Next thing I found was I was super excited. I found the gem ribbon. Oh my God. This is gem mesh and it is three yards long. Okay, 2.74 meters. And it comes in, let's see what color is this? It's hard to tell. This is green. You can't really see the color too good. I got uh, a green one that's all green. This one is green and yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that coloring at all. Um, this one is blue. I got all the colors that they had. This one is like a pink color. I would have got more, but um, I really didn't have that much cash on me. This one is purple and blue. And this one is pink and purple. So <clears throat> if I can hold them up again. These are the, um, what are they calling them? Gem mesh. And uh, I scored all of these. Love them. I got two of the blue and purple ones because, I don't know, I like that one a lot. So look for those when you're able to get out to a Dollar Tree. Um, next thing I had to get was a new kitchen timer. Uh, the one I had um, died or got broken or something. I haven't had it for a while. So I got a red one because um, I've been timing my kitchen stuff with Google I don't want to say it, but I say, hey, Google, you know, set an alarm for 30 minutes. And it says, okay, alarm fit set for blah, blah, blah. My Google's right back here, as you can see. Whoops, where's my finger? Right, it's right there. So if I said that too loud, it, it would, follow, you know, it would answer me. So I don't want to do that. <coughs> I was able to pick up some gloves at my Dollar Tree. Um, I saw um, my manager opening a pack of gloves from the employee stock room. And I was like, hey, did we get gloves in? And she goes, why, you want some? And I was like, yeah, because as of right now, 
We haven't been putting them on the floor because the workers have been using them. We've been um, store stocking them or whatever they call it, marking them down because for store use. But she did let me buy three packs and um, I basically got them to help out, you know, people I know that might need them. I mean, granted, I, I would like to have a, ba a bag. I thought she was only going to get me one or two, but she th threw three in my basket. So if anybody um, that knows me needs them, um, I can help them out. Uh, locally, I mean, anybody who lives around me, I will be glad to drop them off to you. Um, next thing I found was... <clears throat> I have a whole bag of um, beauty products, um, so I'm going to do that last, I think. Next thing I found was these paper straws with the kitty cats on them. They come in teal and orange. There are 12 straws in here, and I just thought they would be fun for Caroline to drink out of. Because um, a lot of times when she's here at Grandma, she drinks from a straw, and I just thought she might find that to be fun. Really cute. I think the other one, there was two different um, sets. The other ones, I oh, there's hearts in here too. I just noticed that. See that? There's a heart in there too. So there's hearts and kitty cats. And then the other one is um, sloths and unicorns. I almost got that one too. And I said, you know what? I, I got to stop. That's um, HBA. Uh, I found the wooden picks in the silver. I'd gotten these, I don't know, six months or more ago. I think it was Christmas time, maybe even. In the gold, they never had the silver um, in any of my stores, but I saw, um, I think it was Thrifty Divas. The only from Thrifty Divas um, hauled the silver ones. And I was like, oh my God, they come in silver. And you guys know I love silver. Um, so I picked up the silver ones and I only got one pack. There are 24 pieces. Grab those. Um, next thing I found was I found the rose gold charger plates. Look at how beautiful this is. It is absolutely beautiful. I picked up two of them. I left the little foamy thing from the store in there. Um, absolutely gorgeous. They would be great for crafting or even, you know, if you wanted to use it as a charger plate, but I just thought this copper color was just absolutely gorgeous. I wish I had gotten more, but, um, I was trying to budget a little bit. So I only got those two. Uh, what else we got here, guys? Oh, I found this wooden sign okay it's inserted into a base and it says keep life simple and it's got the plants on it thought it was really pretty uh let's see where's my ruler this is doo -doo -doo. this is uh eight and a half inches long and just about five inches high Really pretty. Love the galvanized metal here. I love that in the stuff that Dollar Tree's been coming out with. And uh, I just thought that was really nice. So I grabbed that. I In the crafting department, I picked up some um, Crafter Square uh, glue sticks. You get 16 sticks just in case I ever find time to do some crafting. I picked up some floral wire in the red. You get uh, six feet of wire. And I also got it in the gold, the yellow or the gold. So I picked up one of each. Um, <clears throat> also in the crafting department, which I was super, super excited to find because I saw people haul this. Look at what I found. They're cutting mats. And they're really good quality cutting mats. I bought one for me. I bought one for my friend Mary Beth for when we start crafting together. And I bought one for my giveaway, 
which is coming up soon. I'm going to put that aside to go in the giveaway. There's going to be some special rules to my giveaway. Um, you're going to have to have been watching my videos to be able to enter because um, there's it's not going to be a simple entry into this giveaway because, you know, I've, got, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Um, but I want to make sure the people that have been watching me more than one or two days, you know, are, and people that are not subscribed to me don't win this giveaway. Because uh, it's going to definitely have to go to one of my subscribers. And, um, you know, most people do the same type of giveaway. Put hashtag this, hashtag that, whatever. Um, I'm going to do something different in my giveaway. And that I think I'm going to tell you about in my next video. So keep watching, guys. Um, I got to, uh, wait a minute. Do I want to do food yet now? Nah, let me finish this stuff. Picked up these new key covers. Love these little poop emojis. I love how it's rainbow. They had a, a bunch of new ones, and I just thought this one was the cutest of the bunch. They're rubber, and then they got the little chain, you know, the um, ball chain there. And I just thought they were too stinking cute. How to get them. Um, I picked up a few of these for the kids. They're the... Um, Soft dough little, um, what are they calling it? Mold and play figure. This one's Bo Peep. I had gotten Caroline um, Minnie Mouse. I got uh, Madeline one. I think I got her Daisy Duck. And then I got Sarah one for her Easter basket as well too. I forgot who it was, but I hadn't picked up Bo Peep. And uh, so I got that one for Caroline. This is not for Easter. This is going into my toy bin for um, when she comes over and we need something to play with because she doesn't have enough toys here, you know. <clears throat> On we move. I found this Peppa Pig Color and Play Activity Kit. Comes with four character boards and the markers. Uh, what does it say? Da, da, da. Official, this is official pe Peppa Pig. Four coloring boards, three washable markers, 24 page fun pad, and 25 stickers. There's what comes inside. Caroline loves, loves, loves to color. So um, I got that for her. Again, to put in the toy stash. I picked up another one of these ring phone holders. Um, I just thought this one was really pretty. I have a ton of different phone cases, although I don't have that many for my new phone because I got a new iPhone 11. But um, I got this to add to my new phone cases. Okay, I'm going to do food. And then the last thing I'm going to do is uh, health and beauty aids. Um, first thing I picked up was some mayo. I saw some people haul this. This is a four ounce Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. Comes in this plastic um, container. It's got a little uh, reusable top here. I thought these would be great to take on picnics this summer. I picked up two of them um, because when you go um, on a picnic, you don't want mayonnaise on sandwiches pre-made because you don't know how long you're gonna be sitting out in the sun before you actually eat your sandwiches. So I thought you could take this along, put your um, mayonnaise on your sandwich before you eat it, and then put the top back on and throw them in your cooler. So the mayonnaise st stays good for the next time. So that was my thinking when I picked these up. I also picked one up for my mom um, because when they serve the sandwiches at the place where she lives, um, they serve them with nothing on them. So I said, you know what? You, she can put this in her pocket bring it down to the um, lunchroom or whatever and throw some mayonnaise on her sandwich and then put it back in her little refrigerator in her room. Uh, right now, that's not going to work because they're quarantined to their rooms, um, which is sad because they really have not a whole lot of human contact. But me and my brothers and sisters call her every day and talk to her. And I've been up to visit her a couple of times 
Um, I can see her outside her room window. She can roll the window open and we talk and, you know, we at least get to see her um, not as often as we like. We don't get to, you know, hug her and kiss her or any of that stuff, but at least we can see her. Anyway, long story. I also picked up two of these uh, Muller's Real Manny's. I'm not sure whether this is the same Muller that makes noodles. I have to look to see if um, it's the same spelling. I'm kind of thinking it's not because I thought the other Muller's was M-U-E-L-L-E-R. And this says it's manufactured exclusively for Allied International Corp. Somewhere in Maryland. Made in Turkey. Okay, so maybe not. But I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I see people buying it. I said, you know what? To me, mayonnaise is mayonnaise. Um, I can eat store brand mayonnaise and it doesn't bother me. Don't like Miracle Whip in any shape or form, but regular mayonnaise is mayonnaise to me. And I got all that mayonnaise because Dollar Tree has Bumblebee Chunk White Albacore Tuna in the, good Lord, five ounce can for $1. So I picked up two cans, Bumblebee Tuna. Brand name. I also picked up this Kraft Creamy Alfredo Penne. Um, let me read this on the box. Cheesy garlic and herb seasoning, creamy cheese sauce. It's 9.25 ounces. And it's a 5-ounce serving. Per 5-ounce serving. It's a 9.25 ounce. So it looks like two servings. Get two servings on this. So I got one, two, three of those. You know, they make a nice little meal when you don't know what to eat, or you can use, have them as a side dish. Um, you know, this would be great for me because I could get two nights meals out of this. Throw some chicken in it, uh, some broccoli, whatever. But um, craft brand in the Dollar Tree. Four dollar. Uh, next thing I picked up was some trash bags, the Good Sense trash bags. These are my favorite of the Dollar Tree brand, um, trash bags. You get two free, um, bags, so you get 14 bags, and, uh, this is in the Lemon Scent. These are really good. Um, I have no problem with these at all, and for 14 bags for a dollar, they, they work for me. Next thing I found was this giant jug of Arizona green tea. Now this is a 59 ounce container of Arizona tea for $1. You can't get this at the market for $1. No way. My son loves green tea. I picked up uh, three of them for him, two of them for me, and 59 ounces if my Dollar Tree has them the next time I go to work, I think I'm going to get some more. Because you can't beat that price. And green tea is supposed to be good for you, so there's another good reason to buy it. I also found the Kashi for Kids cereal. It is organic honey cinnamon superfood combos. Um, it says created by kids for school age kids. When I saw these, um, my manager, um, I said, is there anything new today? And she said, yeah, right there. I said, oh, I just put those in my cart. She said they were really good. She tried them. I can't wait to try them. So um, Kashi cereal, I'm sure this is way, way more than a dollar in the grocery store. 10.8 ounce cereal. Uh, USDA organic, non-GMO verified. So you should try to see if you can find this Kashi cereal. I got two boxes. Um, I did get a couple pieces of friend mail. I got a package from my friend Tony out in Washington. She sent me 
a big package. Well, it's, you know, not big, but however she did it, she stuffed a ton of stuff in it. I'm so thankful for everything she sent me, but I'm going to have to do that in, an, in probably my next video when I don't have so much stuff. But I did get a couple of cards in the mail. I got one from um, Shantae Wright. She sent me this card. And it says, stay safe on the back. And I love that stamp. Black Heritage stamp. And she sent me this card. Look at how cute that is. It says, stop kidding yourself. I hide things in the yard all the time and nobody ever comes looking for them, says the dog. And then inside says, hope, hope you find lots of fun this Easter. She put a couple of stickers on the inside. She wrote me a nice little note during these difficult times. I wanted to send this card as a pickup from Shantae Wright, AKA Shantae's life. And that's, I want you to see her AKA because she has a YouTube channel. If you want to look her up, that's her info. Thank you so much, Shantae. And she sent me this set of page of stickers. So cute. It says sparkle and shine, sass queen, stay fab and girl boss. And I love them. Thank you so much, Shantae. I also got a card from Bon Bon's Halls. You know, Bonnie from Bon Bon's Halls. She's out in California. She sent me this card with a Scooby-Doo stamp and a little um, bunny. And then there's all kinds of stickers on the back. Bunny stop here. And she sent me this beautiful card. An Easter wish for you, and inside it says, Hope your Easter is filled with family and friendship, decorated with laughter, and warmed by love. Have a wonderful day. And then she wrote, Happy Easter and spring. Hope you have a great day. Hope you are staying safe. Take care. Hugs, Bonnie from Bon Bon's Halls. And she put some cute stickers on the inside. Thanks so much, Bonnie. I really appreciate your love and support. It's really nice to get friend mail. It really is. I love it. Every time I go to open up you know, my door to check my mail, I'm like, oh, please let there be a colored envelope there. Just a card. I, it gives me such a thrill. Thank you so much, ladies. All right. Well, this bag is full of health and beauty products. Okay. Well, sort of. I found these cute cosmetic wristlets. Well, it says wristlet. I guess it's not really a cosmetic wristlet, but it's got a little wristlet on it. And look at how pretty the colors are in this. It has a black zipper and then inside like that. And the bottom is a little bit, you know, it's got a little bit of give on the bottom. But I just thought that was so pretty. Look at the spring colors in that. They had um, four or five different colors. I bought this one as well. Loved the animal print with the pastel colors. Again, with the black zipper. So I got both of those. And then I also picked up this. What are they calling this? This is also a wristlet. This is more like a, like a vinyl. I don't know how to describe it different than that. It's got, you hear that? That kind of material. And I thought it was very nautical. Um, I bought this for my friend, Mary Beth because she, <clears throat> excuse me, has a boat and belongs to a boat club. And it just reminded me of her when I saw it. So I picked this up for my friend, Mary Beth, for her to use maybe when she's out on her boat or hanging out at the boat club and she doesn't want to carry her purse with her. She has a little wristlet. Next thing I got, do to do, I picked up some hair bands, head wraps. There's six of them. I thought the colors were really pretty. And um, from what I understand, people are, are making, like, maybe not with these, um, masks with these. People have been buying tons and tons of hair ties. I thought these were really pretty. And um, I said, you know what? Even if I don't end up making a mask with it, 
I, I think I'd like to use these during the summer when I'm out there mowing the lawn and whatnot. So I grabbed that. I picked up the hand and nail gloves by um, Spa April Bath and Shower. It's nourishing, softening, uplifting, and you get one pair, my big paws out of the way, one pair of gloves, um, 1.4 ounces. I don't think that means anything. It's one pair of gloves, and I picked up four four of these just because my hands have been so dry over the last couple of weeks with all the washing and the weather change and my hands, even though I've been putting lotion and stuff on them, they've just been so dry. I thought I would give this a try, and if I like it, I will pass one or two of them on to some friends. I also found two of the Spa April Bath and Shower Under Eye Mask and Lip Mask. It's one pair of eye mask and one lip mask. I don't know about this. Sounds a little weird, but I got two of them and I thought I'd give them a try. One of them anyway. And then if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I will pass it along to someone who will enjoy it more than me. I found a bunch of new Bolero wipes. Maybe not so new to everybody. I've had this a while. I found this one, so clean and so fresh, cucumber wipes. There are 32 wipes in here, and look at how big this package is. Is my ruler anywhere? These are much bigger than the uh, old packages. And yeah, because these packages are like, well, that's centimeters. Doo -doo -doo. These packages are about about six and a half inches tall. So, and it's got 32 wipes in it. These are refreshing facial wipes by Bolero. I picked up this one in the cucumber. See, 32 wipes. I picked up the watermelon. This is also hydrating facial wipe. Also has 32, it says, Hello, hydration. 32 wipes. Love the packaging on that. Watermelon's my favorite fruit. This one is the Melt Away Makeup with Coconut Water. Makeup removing facial wipes. 32 count. Another really pretty package by Bolero. And coconut is one of my favorite scents. And then I got the Sensitive Solution Chamomile. Again, 32 count. Um, sensitive skin facial wipes. I do have sensitive skin. Um, so I, not that I really have any, um, bad, excuse me, bad effects to the other wipes, but I just thought I'd get this one because I liked it and it was new. What else is in my bag of goodies? I feel like, um, the wizard from the Wizard of Oz. Let me see what I have in my bag for you, Tin Man. Um, I found this Body Benefits Polish and Glow Dual-Sided Microfiber Cloth. Uh, wasn't sure whether I was going to get it when I first saw it. Um, it says, features dual-sided cloth with soft microfiber and textured exfoli exfoliating material. Perfect for everyday cleansing. And then it says to wash it, to clean it, remove hang loop, machine wash cold, gentle cycle, lay flat to dry. Let's just open it up and see how big this thing is because it doesn't look like it's very big. Let's just open it up. Uh, of course, it's got a plastic thing holding it together. Dang it. Ah. Well, let's see. Oh, well, it's not what I thought it was. It's just a little, like, washcloth size little cleaner. This side is very soft and fuzzy, as you can see. And then this side is more like a scrubby. 
And this little hang thing is what they were talking about to remove. I guess you use it, hang it like this in the shower. Well, this was not what I thought it was. I thought this was one of those things where you have the handles on both sides and you can scrub your back like that. It did look awful small, but yeah, I'm going to give it a try. See what, see what I think of it. I've been using the, um, the big brush thing they have with the poof on it. Oh my God. I've had it for the longest time. And, um, the last time I got in the shower, I had thrown my old poof out. So when I got in the shower, I only had the, the poof with the handle. And I was like, oh, geez, I guess I'll have to use this. So I put my old body wash on there and I started washing myself. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This thing is fantastic. Why did I never use this? And I was like, oh, my God. It was I really like it a lot. So if you see those the poofy things on the stick, get it because you'd feel so much better when you get out of the shower. I may be using that all the time. Anyway, too much information, I'm sure. Next thing I found was this massager. Each one of these little thingies rolls on its own, okay? It's got a little cushioned handle and it extends. So if you got something bothering you that you can't reach and you just wanna Get a little massage on the back or on the shoulder or whatever. I don't know. I don't know why I got it. Because it was cute and then maybe I'll use it someday. I don't need to massage anything right now. But it telescopes and it's cute and it was a buck. Comes in blue, red, green, and orange, I think. I picked up the blue. Uh, oops, this is not... This is... uh. This is not health and beauty. I found these at the register. Um, cardboard front, spiral bound. These are by Greenbrier. Uh, they have 80 sheets and it is lined paper. And it came in two different things. This one says sparkle. And then this one says shine. And same thing, 80 sheets. And these stickers do come off, like some of them that don't. Those stickers do come off, so I grabbed those. Let's see, what else is in here? I found the Body Ecology Cleansing Shower Jelly in the Coconut Hibiscus. This is an eight ounce jar. As you can see, it's kind of like translucent. I picked up two of those. And then I also found it in the cherry blossom flavor, not flavor, scent. This one's been laying on the side for a while, so it kind of looks like it's empty. But I thought I'd give it a shot. I never used shower jelly before, but... It says it's got moisturizing shea in it, and it's a really pretty package. So I'll probably end up keeping one of each and using the other, you know, as for gift giving. Because Mother's Day is coming, you guys. And I have a lot of friends that are mothers and my own mother. Not that she uses, you know, shower jelly, but it's time to start thinking about what you're going to do for mom for Mother's Day. I also found in my store... Lever 2000 Original Body Wash for clean, fresh skin, 11.5 ounce container. Lever is a brand name. It's been around forever. Let's take a whiff of this. Smells nice and fresh. So I grabbed two of those. Kind of a universal unisex type bath wash. So, you know, men could use it or women. And I like to keep a stockpile of body washes and stuff on hand. So, you know, when my son calls up and says, I'm on a body wash. Can you get me some? I say, I have some right in my stash. All right. I got a few more small items here. Let me get out of the bag here and we'll be done in just a moment. I was able to get one little um, single 
individual sized Germex moisturizing hand sanitizer. Kills germs in 15 seconds. Kills 99.99% of germs. And this is a three ounce package. I keep one of these in my car and I picked up a spare for when that one runs out. Every time I go in the store or come out of the store or go on my break or whatever, I take off my gloves. I do the hand sanitizer. Um, as soon as I get in my car, I do it again. So I go through quite a bit of it. I also picked up the Assured Nighttime uh, Multi-Symptom Liquid Capsules. Um, I found I went through my medicine cabinet in my cleaning spree, and a lot of my um, cold and flu medication was all expired, so I chucked them all out, and when I went to the Dollar Tree, um, I was like, I need to pick some of that up because I don't need it right now, but if I do come down with something, I want to have it. Um, I picked up this Kabuki Cosmetic Brush by Sassy and Chic. They've had this around for quite a while, and, uh, you know, my foundation brush has been getting a little yuck. So I'm not sure I like this. I should have opened it in the store. Yeah, I suppose it's all right. Not very soft. I'll have to see what I think about that. I picked it up to, to replace my uh, foundation brush, but I don't know. Don't know if I really like it. I may return that. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll have to think about that one. If you guys have used that, let me know. I kind of think it's kind of bristly. Not a big fan of just the first feel of it. Um, next thing I got was this Freeman's Brightening Cucumber Peel-Off Mask. It is 1.5 ounces. And uh, I've... I didn't get this when I first saw it, um, but then a couple of haulers said that they were impressed by this, and apparently Freeman is a brand that is sold in other stores for a lot more, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try as well. And I also picked up the Clearing Pomegranate, Pomegranate Peel-Off Mask, also 1.5 ounces, so... Um, the hauler I watched the other day, I think it was Mrs. Black Gold, um, said her and her son both used this one. They both liked it, and she felt like they could each get another use out of it. So she had said that she thought that you could get four uses out of this. I have not tried it. I haven't used it. That was her opinion. I'm hoping it's true, because that's why I got it. But... Um, you know, let me know if you guys have tried it and uh, how many uses you got out of it. I would appreciate your input. I also found some new e.l.f. makeup. I found the Flawless Eyeshadow in this palette. Uh, it's called Happy Hour, one of my favorite times of the day. And this is the, an improved formula. And I picked up two of those. Just really like the colors in that. I also found, which I was really excited about, another of the hard candy eyeshadow palettes. These colors are a little bright. Not really so much my style. But you know what? I think maybe, you know, they'd be fun to have if I was going to do something fun. I picked up two of them. I'm going to put one of them in my giveaway. Because I know a lot of people have been uh, having a hard time finding hard candy. These are the only things I found in the hard candy. Um, no, I did find the eyeliner as well. But these palettes are the only ones that I found. I haven't found the blush at all, which I'm really looking for. And I also haven't found that mineral makeup that everybody's found. It's in like a triangular shape package. Haven't seen that anywhere either. But yeah, I thought these colors were a little bright for my taste. But there are a couple nice ones here in the middle. But the, you know, like these are really, woo. Back in the day, they were like, you know, loved that bright blue eyeshadow. But, you know, 
I'm 58 years old now, and I think I might look a little weird with bright blue eyeshadow on. Anyway, guys, that was everything in this haul. Again, sorry for the long videos. If you don't like them, I'm so sorry. But a lot of you have said, you know, I don't mind watching you for that long. Although I didn't have any intermission this time. Um, hope you all are staying safe. I hope you have a wonderful Easter. I will be coming back with a, a couple of more videos. Um, I may record them and not post them for a day or so. But um, enjoy this one. Enjoy your Easter. Hug your family extra hard today and tomorrow. And just, you know, thank God that we're all healthy right now. Love you guys. Stay safe. Happy Easter. Bye now.